The school shooting is having an impact on people of all ages. WDRB's Chris Suter talked with a psychiatrist about how parents should be handling it. You don't have to be a parent to be devastated by the images and information coming out of Texas. It can be even more confusing for our kids. Dr. Felissa Goldstein is a pediatric psychiatrist with Norton Children's Hospital. She has some tips on how to talk to our kids about all of this. So why don't we go ahead and start right there, Doc. What's the best way to approach this, do you think? I think it depends on the age of your child. For really young kids, I would probably try to protect them from the information and shield them from it. But then older kids, you want to have honest conversations with them. So to bring it up for those older kids, should you wait until they bring it up? Should you be bringing it up first? How do you handle all of that? That's a good question. So I think it's best, especially if you know that your kid looks at the news or watches the news to bring it up with them rather than letting them hear it from somebody else, because then you have more control over what they hear and what they understand. And you can also reassure them at the same time. You know, I think a lot of parents may be hesitant to talk about all of this because it's scary for us, really. So it has to be scary for our kids. How do you get past that? I think you have to reassure them. You don't want to give them unrealistic promises, but you want to reassure them that they're safe and that our schools are doing all that they can to keep us safe. And that, you know, we as a family, you keep your family safe. That's really the best that you can do and just kind of keep going with your regular routine and regular structure and try not to let it paralyze you. I, as a parent, it's very scary. But at the same time, I need to let my kid know that we're not going to let fear win and that we're going to keep going. Are there certain words you think that you leave out of the conversation? Again, it depends on the developmental age of the child. You have to really look at what your child understands. Maybe leaving out the word shooter for younger kids, but I'm not even really sure because then I, I'm sort of feel like, well, then they want to know, well, what happened or who did this to them. So I don't actually think so. I think I would, on a developmentally appropriate level, I would talk about it with the kids. All right, certainly an important conversation for sure. Dr. Felissa Goldstein, thank you for having it with us.